Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and I am going to do this sweet flower. I'm excited to get started, but I want to tell you how I got the flower on the canvas. I have this flower. It's exactly the same size as my canvas. I did put chalk on the back and try transferring it that way and a little bit of the lines came through, but not the whole thing. So after I was done tracing it and it didn't work really well. I went back in with a General's white charcoal pencil and just drew my flower in. So that's why I think I ended up with a few more petals. I may or may not end up with a few more petals at the end. We'll see. You know, when you're painting, sometimes things go in and out. These are the Artist Loft Professional Level Paint, and they are a heavy body. As you can see here, they are not flattening out after you put it down onto the palette. Yellow, Medium Azo, Quinacridone Magenta, Burnt Sienna, Cad Red Medium, Titanium White, and Prussian Blue. I'm using the Prussian blue kind of as my black alternative. I don't really want to put black in this. So the Prussian blue with the burnt sienna is going to give me a really rich dark color. I think what I'm going to do is because this is so linear in the background, I'm going to kind of scrub in a little bit of some white and Prussian blue just to sort of unify that background a little bit. Just taking a touch of water. I'm not going to try and obliterate my background that's there. Titanium white is very opaque. So I can scrub it in. Like that. You can still see the background behind. But what this is going to do is let me get sort of the outline of my flower put in without having to paint the outline. <laughs> See how that works? Paint in the negative space around the flower. I can keep using this water. It's not murky. It's, it's a little bit colored with white, but since I'm putting my pink colors in, it'll be okay. Now I am going to work from the back to the front. So I'm going to start figuring out which of these petals is the farthest back and get my deepest tone in on those first. And my deepest tone is actually going to have some cad red medium and the quinacridone magenta and a bit of white. Now we're going to go in and I say this petal back here is darker. This petal right here in that space is darker. I'm going to try and keep it loose. We'll see how well I do. That petal is darker. This one has a little bit of dark. There's actually another petal right up here that I kind of wiped out, but it's really bright on top. So, and there's sort of a darker edge underneath of underneath of that petal. So we've got 
these petals going in here, this petal is right there. Then we're going to skip these two and that little one. We're going to go over here to this one. Make that a little bit darker maybe. Maybe not put quite as much white in it. So, so now I'm going to this one, this petal right here. And then there's that one. Those are darker petals. They're the in the back behind type of petals. They don't have to be as resolved. I think I'm going to take a tiny bit of the burnt umber, excuse me, the burnt sienna and kind of work that in just a smidge. Just gives me a little bit more variety in those little under petals. We're kind of working these colors in underneath so that way when we go in and start putting our top paint on, it does what it needs to do right away. Now I'm going to go ahead and take some of that burnt sienna. I'm not even washing my brush. See, I didn't even go wash the brush. Burnt sienna and Prussian blue and those colors that were in the brush already. Maybe a little more cad red. Kind of warm that gray tone up. And we're going to get the first layer of the brown in. For that center, we'll get the geometric looking shape on that center with a smaller, more detailed brush. When we put in the highlights. So now we've got the main color on there. I'm going to go ahead and just really darken this up. There we go. And we're going to just like that. Look at that. We're getting that shape put in. So now we're going to go ahead and start getting a little bit. You see how I'm just tapping it and we're getting that, that uh, form. that looks like those lovely little geometric points. That's easy, isn't it? And all I did was pick up the paint and tap it from the edge this way, straight down on the edge. I'm, I'm pretty much done with that. There might be a little tiny bit of some highlights going on top, but I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm done doing that part. Now I want to go ahead and start getting my next layer of pink color in here. And it's still a pinky orangey color, but it's a little bit more to the quinacridone side, I think.
There we go. That makes me happy. Maybe just a touch of pink or a touch of white on the edge. Just so I can get a little bit of that loosely mixed. See, there's it's not perfect. And now we're going to give him just a few little lines. to sort of detail those little petals that are underneath and keep it kind of darkish still. Even though I did put white in that, we're not really doing a highlight. Now I'm gonna put more white. We're not going to do any more on that, those underside petals right now. What we're going to do is start putting in the top petals. Remembering where we put those little highlights and shadows. Let's see? Like that. We start getting those layers put in. Easy peasy, isn't it? I'm going to say that that petal actually comes down over everything and comes down in front. So it really needed to be lighter. And then I want this one to be lighter. And I don't mind if it comes down a little bit farther. Like that. Then we've got another petal. I think it needs a tiny bit more of the darker color right along the edge of it. But still brighter than those petals that are around behind. See how we do that? Just pick up colors. Brighter white light colors come forward. They're on top. The darker colors are now starting to look like they're behind. We're letting the background help our help our flowers have, or help our petals have some definition. Don't need quite that much white. Needed to be a little bit darker for that petal there, sort of underneath. But then it gets a bit of a lighter color out on the tip of it, where it sticks out. And then we have this petal coming this way. See, we just, just say, hey, there's a petal coming this way. I want it to come out a little bit farther even. And then another petal here, just because I want it there. Not necessarily exactly the way the painting goes, but it's pretty close, or the reference goes, but it's pretty close. And then maybe a bit more white right along that edge. Coming up in right along this edge. Coming up out right here, giving it some highlight and definition. This one has some stripes of white in it. Maybe a little bit darker right back here. right where those petals are meeting into the center has a little bit more dark. See how fun this is though? 
And the hardest part on this is just keeping track of which pedal you're on. Are you on a front pedal or a back pedal? Are you on a top one or an underneath one? See that one I just went too light. But instead of worrying about it or getting frustrated, I'm just going to take some Cad Red and some Burnt Sienna and just go right in on it and just darken it back up. I think I'm going to darken a few of these. These are the ones that are in the back underneath. By darkening them up, we're pushing them to the back and we're giving, we're giving room for the top ones to be the stars. Let's see here. Don't really want that one to be quite so tippy up. We're going to pull you out. We'll pull you out also. So now this part right here where I'm just brushing, that's getting kind of mixed together and I don't really want it that tight, tightly mixed together. So I will go back in in just a second. I'm going to let that area dry just a smidge. We're really getting close to being done. I think I will go ahead and put my stem in. We're going to put some highlights on this guy. It's going to pop it out, separate those petals. A number four Art Sherpa round. We're going to go ahead and get that stem in. I'm taking some of the Prussian blue and that yellow Azo, making a really dark green tiny bit of burnt sienna in it, make it a little bit more natural. There we go. So this is pretty darn dark right up here underneath of those petals and it's a little bit thick as it comes down. It gets thinner. Thicker up at the top, thinner as it comes down, and it's got a little bit of that brown in it and that blue. I'm allowing some of that green underneath to help me out. Need a little bit more yellow and the red. All right, so now we're working down here in the bottom of the stem. Just sort of lightening it up just a smidge. We're, we're trying to keep it loose. I am trying really hard to keep it loose and not too much detail, but I wanted enough. How's that? <laughs> I'm just taking some of the straight Prussian blue to get me my darkest area right up underneath of those petals and then let it mix in as it's coming down. There we go. We do need one side of that to have a little bit more. There we go. What do you think about that, huh? That is looking so, so cool. I think while we're letting those petals dry just a couple more minutes, I'm going to go ahead and mix up a brighter orange to highlight the very tips of that. That center cone. Taking that yellow azo medium. And the cad red medium, mixing them together to get that bright, bright color. You know, I don't want to to do too much, but let's see, how are we doing there? Maybe a little bit more yellow. I just want them to glow a little bit, but not take out all of that other color that's there. It's 
So I'm sort of hitting around it. Oh, look at that. Maybe just a bit of the burnt sienna. Take down a couple of those here and there. Make them not quite so brighty bright. And then just a little touch of that cad red medium. That just gives us more depth and detail in that center cone. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, I love that. That is so pretty. I like that soft background that's going on here. Take some of the white and the magenta and just a touch of the cad red medium, more white. Really lighten that up. There we go. I'm just loading the brush up with the paint because I don't intend to go back very often. This one has a much brighter part of it right here, and then it comes down. Like that. Then this has a bit of a bright area there and comes down. We're not, we're not being slaves to the actual reference photo, but I am using it to inform my, my choices. How's that, huh? So let's see, we're gonna come like this, and then it comes around like that. It kind of has these two little, two little pointies that come off of this petal. Let it just do its thing. There we go. That really brings that petal forward. And we'll take just a little bit of this into the petal to give it some depth without changing the color too much. All right more of that white. This petal here. They're kind of darker as they touch that center. Then they come out and they get brighter. But then they also have some spots that are darker. And again, I want to take some of that red and the magenta, mix them together with the white and the brush. See, it's all layering. It's all just making decisions. What am I going to do here? Doesn't, doesn't require a whole lot of thought. You can see, or you can hear, because I start stop. I start stopping on the talking. <laughs> I tend to not want to talk, and I'm forcing myself to talk. So I'm just using a little bit of that white and sort of blending it in, letting some of it land and stay as highlights. Ooh, yeah, that's looking pretty. Now the to make those highlights more effective, you don't put them everywhere. If you put them everywhere, then they're they're really not highlights anymore. They're just the standard color of the flower. So this edge I want to pop up. And that very center line, I want it to sort of lift it up. You see how that just went boop? And it just sort of went from being flat to being like this. Just from that little off-center ridge. So. We're almost done.
So now that top edge of that petal on the little edge of it, oh yeah. A few little spots of some white, a little bit of a glow. Ooh, I like that little pop of that pink. I think we're gonna get a little pop of that pink in here. Just here and there, just the straight magenta, not everywhere. Doesn't be, it isn't a, a special little pop of color if you put it everywhere. But a couple places near the shadows. That makes me happy. I need to make a couple spots even more dark inside there. We need a little bit darker right up in here. And right there. It just lifts those petals up in front to have that touch, touch darker color in there. Bit darker, maybe even a bit of Prussian blue in it. Ooh, let's see what that does. Oh yeah, just a couple little spots here and there. Just work that little bit darker in. It lifts those petals apart without causing too much interruption. You know, I want to separate that little bit right there. Maybe a little bit in that. It's just supposed to give you an emotional feeling of one of these types of flowers. How I'm feeling on this day about this flower. I think I'm feeling pretty good about it. What do you think? How are you feeling about it? Am I going too far? Should I not have put that dark, dark color in? I kind of like it. I'm just sort of dry brushing off anything that's left on the brush. Oh, that is so pretty. Maybe a touch more of that white right along there and right along there. Lift those petals up just a bit with the brightest bright white. And we are done. I'm just lightening it up down here at the bottom since I had a little bit of white in my brush. There we go. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends, and make sure that you go out and do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And I hope to see you back here again really soon. Bye-bye.